you know, I believe it was Tupac who said uh, something about real eyes, real lies, real lies. And we're finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good, uh, Great White Gang? What is good, Creek Squad fam? Saint Squad fam and Goon Squad fam. It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And who we? So, since uh, a certain somebody with the word church in his name uh, wants to keep spreading, wants to keep writing this, this lie that he's been spreading, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's receipt time, y'all. Receipt time. And, um, <laughs> I can't wait to get into this one, man. I mean, dog, dog, you had every opportunity to correct yourself and to walk this lie back, but nah, you didn't do it. You're, you're, I guess you're, you're too good to do that. And, um, I also noticed that ACAL put up a video finally saying his piece and uh, we going we going to give a cow you know the opportunity to, to get his piece also said here on this platform but until then let's go ahead and get into the uh, receipts for add up church official by Mises Vidya I don't know about y'all but I for one definitely cannot wait to hear here so hear here well let me make this clear dog Look at this, man! You, you, YouTube, YouTube. I guess siding with 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 that church on this one or what? You, YouTube, YouTube. You want to play this game? Want to play this game? You sure you want to play this game today? Well, let me make this clear, dog. I will fucking disembowel you on the mic, bro. All right. So yesterday, I guess, in and I have every reason to believe that. I'm just saying. Just live, okay? Some rapper just friends with Adam Calhoun. Hmm. I wonder who he's talking about. Yeah, me too. Some rapper who is friends with Adam Calhoun. Hmm. Hmm. Look, just on some grown man shit. I'm not. I'm not not saying the guy's name to be a dickhead. I'm doing that because I ain't trying to ruin his career if somebody persuade him to do something fucking stupid. Um, I I still say you you are scared to say the man's name. You know what I mean? On, on some punk shit, like for real. By do something stupid, he means allow Adam to convince me to go after him. Cannot make this shit up. Then I want to send another rapper to be like, I'm the middleman. Bro, you think I'm finna go after that that rapper? No, I'm going after the who sent him. I'm gonna go after the one who didn't even know the song existed until the day after it dropped. Because then when these rappers do this, it makes me look like some sissy that's doing the internet shit. So. <clears throat> so so uh what Mises just said was that Adam didn't know that the song that Mises did, which I'm assuming at the risk of making an ass out of myself, um the song Country Rap Kendrick, Adam didn't know about the song until the day it dropped. Hmm. Then I wants to send another rapper to be like, I'm the middleman. Bro, you think I'm finna go after that that rapper? No, I'm going after the who sent him. I'm gonna go after the one who didn't even know the song existed until the day after it dropped. Cause then when these rappers do this, it makes me look like some sissy that's doing the internet shit too. Um, dog, you've always have been that sissy that does the internet shit. I mean, hello, do you not know you? You know all those roast videos that you've done on people. Through YouTube, man, is your memory really that bad? If so, you might want to go to a doctor, man. You might want to get yourself checked out, man. You might have some early signs of Alzheimer's or something, man. That's bruh. The kid, little kitty, or or maybe you did bump your head. Maybe that's what it is. You probably bumped your head one too many times. The internet. 
I'm not. Bro, the sissy internet shit is all you do. I'll post a link to this live. But Actual factuals. I mean, like I said, he uh, put out an Instagram video on me and lied on me to which I did respond to because that's my only way to, to communicate with the man. I mean, obviously, I'm not friends with church like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not connected with him like that. So I can't have a conversation with him. No, I have to respond to him over the internet because that's the only way I can communicate with him. And just like Mises and just like ACAL, I don't like doing the internet shit either. Because then it makes all of us look, look like fucking a bunch of pussies, a bunch of girls going back and forth over the internet. And that's why I didn't do the whole, you know, keyboard warrior shit with you, dude. I still try to stay cool with you and everything. Find you over to Triple T so you can see that BX Beast Boy video that we were watching where BX Beast Boy was exposed for being a an internet predator. Bruh. Bruh. And then, despite the keyboard warrior nonsense, despite the IG video, I still try to reach out to you through my comment thread. To try to have a grown man conversation with you to which you ignored or maybe you're too busy to read because I get that you're on you're on tour and whatnot so that's why I said in my comment dog let's let, let's have a grown man talk let me know what's the best way to get a hold of you and what time works best for you <clears throat> below it was on BX Beast Boys channel fucking case in point I'm not gonna say his name I'm just gonna give you a link with his name in it Huh. See, I called I called towards the end. Damn. Damn, son. Damn. <laughs> See, look at this. Hmm. Mises and Ryan Upchurch call in to speak on Ryan Upchurch this. Wouldn't say the man's name, but you're you're more than willing to share a link with his name in it. Wow. And then he's on this live and he's like saying all this crazy shit. Truth can be kind of crazy, huh? Like I know up church personally, man. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Who was that you were shaking hands with? I know him personally, like. Huh. Up church personally, man. I don't know. Y'all look very friendly here, man. I mean, I'm just saying. I know him personally. Like, I I've been to his house. Oh, look at that. Mr. Uttress, what's your cap size? Cap size, five head looking ass. What's your cap size? Who is this gent right here on the left? Leaning up against the tailgate and the four-wheeler in the back of a pickup truck. You know what I'm saying with the uh, with with the with the ginger beard and the uh, and the tan cap looks very much like a cow right there. And then who's this gent over here with the flannel shirt with the camo cap with the American flag on it, blue jeans, <laughs> get it, blue jeans, and the camo boots. And then look who we got over here on the right. The gentleman over here with the mesh cap. Right? The dark brown beard and the hoodie. Looks an awful lot like Mises, don't it? Hmm. All this shit. Yeah, this is some bullshit. And I'm sitting there and I'm like... This is not like some 16-year-old kid trying to sound cool. Nah, it's a 33-year-old man trying to stay cool. <laughs> Line. Bruh, facts, though. <laughs> uh, 33-year-old man doing the same old internet fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Hiding in his little Fortnite fortress, you know what I mean? With his armed guards and everything. Running his mouth, talking all kinds of shit. Bruh, let's go. Internet. It's a grown ass dude who's a, a rapper out here. Let me see. I'm actually a rapper in here. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Again, we got my man ACAL over here on the right. 
We got this guy in the beanie who looks an awful lot like Upchurch in the middle here. He's the middle man in this picture. <laughs> and then we got my man over here on the left with the black cap, the gray hoodie. Hmm. 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 Oh, man. And at first, I have no idea what this live is about. He's just, I hear him saying, he knows me personally. Because I do. He's been to my house. Because I have. Twice. I'll tell you right now, I do not know this guy personally. Again, look at this. From that same studio sesh, you got Church and you got a cow right here. <laughs> Fuck, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude pointing. I do not know this guy personally. Ah, this gentleman right here pointing. Hmm. Fuck, man. That guy that just pointed over there and you were looking at and talking to sure as fuck looks like me. And I cannot remember any time that this person has ever been to my house. I tell y'all so. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. This is where I get to talk a little bit. While you and Adam filmed that video, I was sitting in your fucking living room with B. Really? Can we hear that again? We go. Here we go. This is where I get to talk a little bit. While you and Adam filmed that video, I was sitting in your fucking living room with B Loose. Mr. Utrich, what's your cap size? Cap size. <laughs> Whoo. And it looks like he knows B Loose. I mean, it looks like he has him as a, as a contact here. Hmm. 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 Let me guess, though, I don't know him either, and I wasn't sitting on the couch watching your stupid ass stick your head out of the fucking door frame like this. See y'all niggas at the cookout? So what is that? That's a cap size, cap size. Yeah, yours. That's two cap sizes. Yeah, you definitely lied at least twice so far. So I'm like, what the fuck? What is this even about? Well, come to find out, he's explaining some lyrics in a song he put out. In the song, this guy disses me. He says, like, something like, Tell him, church, holla boy, holla boy. So first you say, I don't know you. have already proven that's a fucking lie. And I'll continue to prove that throughout this video. But now you're going to say, I dissed you. So let's see what the fuck you call a diss. Tell Ryan to holla. Bark at the boy, bend down. I just proved I know you. So usually when someone that knows someone says holler, it means to fucking holler. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know what that means, but that's one of the lyrics, I think. I'll just explain what it means, but it is actually starting to make sense to me why the react. And see how he, Ryan put himself on blast by saying, I think that's one of the lyrics. So he actually did not listen to the song himself, at least not at that time. Bruh. Failed it times 10. There's the ride your dick so heavy don't understand lyrics when their favorite fucking rapper don't even understand them. Facts. And the other lyric is something like up church bonked his head. Never said you bonked your head. You True, that's not what the man said. Clearly fucking did, though. Well, I would have to agree. I think he bumped his head a multitude of times, hence why he's acting the way he's acting and claiming he don't know the man when clearly that is not the case. Again, early signs of Alzheimer's? Hmm? Did you have, like, you know, mul like multiple concussions? Hmm? What's your next excuse going to be, Ryan? Woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Read the comment thread. I never said thread. I said a comment. You read a comment, and I will show you specifically which one here in a minute. And this is how all this happened. And the Ryan this Tom. So here we go. Then Ryan this Tom woke up on the wrong side of the bed and read a comment, which did happen. All these things did happen, and that's where most of the shit went wrong. Shit all went wrong, and he ain't wrong. So. Thread. I never said thread. I said a comment. You read a comment, and I will show you specifically which one here in a minute. And this is how all this happened. Ain't the Ryan this time that woke up on the wrong side of the bed and read a comment. And that's where most of shit all went wrong. He talks about how he's the he's in the middle between two friends. Now he fits in between friends in the middle of the tent. That yeah, he feels like he's in the middle because again, Mises is cool with both Adam and he was cool with you, but I don't know about now these days. Friends. Now he fenced in, but so now he's fenced in, in between 
Fenced in between friends in the middle of the tension. Between friends in the middle of the tension. Again. Got a cow right here. You got this dude right here with the beanie and the glasses on. And then you got this man over here. Who looks an awful lot like Mises. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, yeah. You see why he feels like he was placed in the middle between two friends? Because, again, he's friends with both you, who is the middleman, and a cow right here, who is on the other side of you. Hmm. Hmm. And look at that. Pictures say a thousand words, don't they? Oh, I see. I I'm standing next to you, not in the middle of you two. So that's, gotcha. That's why I'm lying. Saying he's in the middle of this Tom and Adam shit that happened fucking two months ago. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you put me in the middle of this shit between you and Adam when you put out your February 13th video. Oof. Where you Oof. read his, Oof. his comments. And here is the comment that Adam put. Now look. <clears throat> I will admit, when I did that reaction video, right, Church being in bed and he blasted this comment, yes, I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? I was one of those blind sheeples, you know what I mean, that bought into the hype, you know what I'm saying? But then, um, you know, <clears throat> took a moment, took a minute, you know what I mean, to uh, assess the situation, kind of look at the overall scope of things. And I went back and I looked at Adam's comment and I was like, yeah, dog, I mean, Adam is right in what he said here, dude. Look, if you have something on me, or actually, I'll, I'll read it right, right here. See, a lot of people think this is about me. Here's what I'll say. Hey, dog, air me out. In, empty the mag. <clears throat> Get everything about me out there. Fuck it. At the end of the day, like I always say, brother, I'll always be there if you need me. I feel like I've always owed you that. Send that bitch church. That that was a quote there from ACAL's uh, text messages there. And people were saying, oh, Adam's so scared and everything, man. That's why he blasted himself out there. Does that look like a dude who's scared? If that looks like a dude who's scared, y'all don't know what scared is. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it looks like, to me, the man is basically calling truth, I mean, church, out on his, on his shit. Saying, like, oh, yeah, I got all these things on you. If that's true, put him out there. Because up until that point, church has always been known for his receipts, right? Usually if he says, he, usually if church has receipts, he has no problems putting them out there, right? So why is it that when it comes to ACAL, he has a problem putting out receipts on ACAL? Probably because maybe he doesn't have them. On the wrong side of the bed. <sighs> Try to keep up, church. In my life, two months is a fucking year. Ah, uh, that, that was a bar right there. Try to keep up, church. bed <clears throat> try to keep up church in my life two months is a fucking year yeah mine too that's why i waited over two months to drop this song oh look at this country rap kendrick mp3 and if we follow this blue line this blue highlight over february the 27th of 2024 at 3.17 p.m. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so see why he waited until recently before putting the song out? It's because he knew that had he dropped it then, dropped it right around the time this whole thing between Adam and Church blew up, that would have been bad timing. So he waited until shit died down so that way nobody would think, oh, he's coming to Adam's aid. He's the middleman. Dog. Dog. You see what you, you see why some of you idiots on the internet shouldn't be speaking on shit that you have no full knowledge of? <clears throat> so not only is church loaded up with some cap sizes, but so do all of you uh, dick riders out there who act like your man can do no wrong, can walk on water like he's the second coming. Y'all loaded up with some cap sizes too. And again, here's the date now blasted up 
full screen February the 27th, 2024. The song was done. And I only dropped it because Kendrick dropped his euphoria response to Drake. Let me ask you, Ryan, do you think if I was trying to clout chase or diss you or get your attention that I would have dropped it over two months after all the stupid shit happened with you and Adam and Tom and shit? Or do you think maybe I let it blow over because I had respect for the situation and the people involved? And um, I don't know. Don't you think I'd put like this in the title and like your name in the title? Or what do you think? I'm like fucking scared to do that. I don't forgot Tom McDonald even. Who? I mean, man's, man's got a point. Man's got a point. Just saying. Fucking existed, dude. Yeah, I believe that. You're real good at forgetting people. Not to mention he already. He certainly is. Already served his purpose, right? I mean, you're already done with your album rollout promo. So of course, it's just a coincidence the timing that you posted this. Hey, Tom McDonald, you better get your notepad ready, son. Cause I'm coming for you. So what in the, how are you in the middle of this? Dude? Because you said this, dude. Then after I conquer your ass, I'm conquering everybody else that thinks they can't be. Which I had a hunch when you posted that, it was directed towards Adam. I guess it's just a coincidence that you ended up posting a video about him two days before your album drops. Just a coincidence, right? Third capsize. We're way past three at this point, but keep going. I don't know you, dude. Now, this was a picture that I shared, although this is a more close-up version of the said picture that I shared <clears throat> when I called out church on that May 5th video that I reacted to. Um, yeah, you, you two here look very familiar, Ryan. So, again, you want to keep riding on these capsizes? I mean... That's up to you, bro. That's what you want to do. You, you want to, you know, shatter what is left of your integrity. I mean, go right ahead, bro. <clears throat> and uh, by the way, Mises plays a clip of the video where Church referred to me as, oh, the I just seen this guy the other day who was so bent out of shape because I don't know this other rapper guy. And then he blasts this picture, this picture, uh, up on the internet with both my name and uh, that other rapper guy's name tagged on it. Look at him. I mean, fuck, dude. I seen a guy yesterday. He is bent the fuck out of shape that I don't know this other rapper. And he even posts a picture. He's like, look, here's a picture. Yeah, that would be me, JJV, by the way, that you're talking about. What, you scared to say my name now? Hmm? You are afraid of me now? Yeah. Trying to save you from your bad memory. Trying to help you out, bro. Then you run the IG on that video and whatever, and you start running your mouth about me. And then I had to chase your ass to IG because apparently you seem to have forgotten, which is very convenient, uh, that I have an IG too. So therefore, I posted my IG response, which I will play. I'll be more than happy to play at the end of this video because, you know, I mean, I'm not your friend. I mean, I'm not connected to you in the way that Mises was, is or was. I'm not connected to you like the way Adam was. You know what I'm saying? So the only way I can communicate with you is through the Internet. Your favorite playground of choice. Yeah. Anyway. Who's going to tell him? Oh, man, that shirt you're wearing in that picture sure looks like the same one in the picture with me. It's almost like I was backstage with you the whole <gasps> fucking time. I'm not your friend. No, no, no. We're not friends. We're homeboys. That's your words. Just know I'm always here for your daughter. Hey, yo. You can snuck her in for her church. <laughs> and you can trust the thought of these words. Uh, said your name again. Yeah, he, he said his name again. So what, did, did, did he diss him again right then and there? Hmm? Mr. Uh, Internet Predator? Hmm? And Mr. Uh, Kansas, not so much of a rebel man? Again in a song, must be clout chasing. Couldn't have been talking about the time when in Joliet, my hometown, and my friend who has passed away, his daughter was there, and she said, I really want to meet Upchurch. So I called b -Loose, you know, the the guy that I also probably don't know and the number that I probably also don't have. And I say, hey, man, is there any way I can get my homeboy's daughter, get a picture with church? And he said, yeah, man, he's just doing his oxygen mask after the show. But as soon as he's done with that, he's going to come out. I'll let him know. And then you come out. And the first thing you say when you see me is, oh, yeah, that's my homeboy. I guess that shit never happened, though, bro. Right. And I guess I'm fucking crazy for calling you a friend. Such a bad diss. Oh, church. 
Bruh. Bruh. For real? How could you not remember things like this, dog? <clears throat> Dude. Mm. You just failing all around, aren't you? Bruh. Oh, by the way. Ooh, let's see. Was that be loose? Look at that. And um, I find it a little bit ironic that Mises is showing um, what, what what I'm guessing is be loose. Uh, wearing a shirt saying y'all need Jesus because I mean we all know one guy again with the word church in his name who needs Jesus I mean I'm, I'm, I'm just saying bro just saying oh by the way the only reason I don't have a picture from that show is because the same reason I don't have a picture from a lot of things because I didn't treat you like some sort of a fucking celebrity or star or whatever I treated you like an equal and I didn't walk around with my phone like hey man hey 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 man hey can I take a picture matter of fact it's funny that it took all this bullshit for me to even show any of these pictures I'm a fucking clout chaser yeah man that that is really sad and like I said man it all could have been avoided had we just sided with the truth I'm just saying bro Huh? I'm not even your other buddy's friend. Yeah, I uh, picked up on that. That's why I said this. Tell Ryan to holler. You know, so we could talk about some weird shit that I don't understand that you did before you and him fell out. You know, weird sh You know, Ryan, on, on some grown man shit. You know what I mean? Y'all could have had a conversation to avoid all this. But no, 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 no. That's not your style. That's not what you do. You do the internet thing. About some weird shit that I don't understand that you did before you and him fell out. You know, weird shit. Like no, knowing someone for six years and never really acknowledging them on social media. And then six weeks before you start shit with one of their best friends, the guy that I met you through, you fucking follow me and start getting buddy-buddy on social media. That's fucking weird. Ah, let's look at this. See, ooh, Ryan Upchurch started following you. 10 seconds ago. So you're Ryan up church. Liked your comment. Hey Amen. I, I ain't nothing but, but a stone's throw away now. Uh, ready whenever big homie. Oh, ready whenever big homie is one hundo. And you liked it. Wow. Wow. But you don't know him though, right? You're not familiar with him, right? Fuck you talking about? That's not enough receipts. You want more? Oh. Let's see here. Uh, St. Mises. Uh, one thing nobody can ever say about me is that I ever tried riding that train and I had a, a red carpet to be able to if I wanted. If you know, you know. Anybody think I'm bullshitting, go give a good listen to Death Threats. Hashtag I been hip hop. And look at this. See, up church Mises collapse would be fire. See, amen. I ain't nothing but a stone's throw away now. Ready? Whenever big homie is 100. Mm -hmm. So I say, I'm ready to work whenever you are. You like that comment, follow me. And then you start shit with my homie like two months later, less than two months later. But I'm weird for saying that I feel fenced in between the tension that you fucking put me in the middle of. Look at this, look at this here. Not every smile is a smile. That's a good smile, brother. A peaceful smile. Happy for you, homie, with a pair of hands. And look at this. Thank you, Mises, so much. You are a real one. Keep making them truth banger cut. Hmm. Hmm. And, hmm. and what the fuck? Woke up on the wrong side of the bed, read the comment thread. Well, looks like I ain't got to tell you who it is no more. Yep. Come. Does that video look familiar, Ryan? Hmm. This was the video that I reacted to. And my dumbass took your side in this video. 
or with this video, I should say rather. But see again, see, I'm so grown man and shit. I can admit to when I fuck up. Can you do that? Can you be man enough to do that? Hmm. I'm sure you can if you tried. I believe in you. Well, looks like I ain't got to tell you who it is no more. Yep. Kind of also looks like you're in bed, too. So I know anybody with a brain could fucking tell who you were trying to instigate the whole damn time. Again, here's Adam's comment. Basically saying, yo, if you got stuff on me, air it out then, dude. If you truly believe I did something that dirty to you, air it out. And you couldn't do it. Oh, what do you know? It's a comment that you woke up on the wrong side of the bed and read, thus dragging me in the middle of your shit. Unless we're still going with the fairy tale that you don't know me and uh, you haven't been like friendly to me. And just recently liked a comment about working together. Fourth capsize, motherfucker, I'm 33 years old. I don't give a fuck about what the comments say. Who the fuck does that at my age? You do, a lot. Actual factuals, look at this, Ryan up church. Can nobody diss for Adam? That's goofy if that's true. Hmm. Yeah, look at this, man. It sounds like you um you caring a lot about what um other people are saying in the comments. Damn, bruh. Damn. Thought you don't care about the comments. Why are you letting them narrate you right into some bullshit? So you got Thank you! Right? Let a couple of fuckboys be in your ear and narrate you into some shit, which caused you to put out that dumb video where you showed your ass. Got Adam Calhoun's buddy saying he's the middleman. Nah, that's cat, bro. If anything, you're the fucking middleman of causing drama because you're always. Thank you. He's in the fucking middle of it. You know, when there's a common denominator over and over and over, maybe it's time to look in the fucking mirror, bro. Actual factuals. Look at all the people that he was cool with at one point that he pushed away. Jelly Roll. Struggle Jennings. Adam Calhoun, hell, probably Demon Jones, and now Mises. All these people, right, that he was cool with, that he was boys with, now all of a sudden aren't around him anymore. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's jealousy, bitterness over them being successful. You know what I mean? And he can't control their destinies. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I'm just asking questions. Who the fuck else said they's the middle man in something recent? Adam. So if the if this other rapper dude you could just say my name, bro. They already knew who you're talking about, remember? Yeah, I mean, at that point, you may as well have said the man's name, man, because, I mean, and here's another thing I didn't like about that. You're, you're, you're insulting the intelligence of the viewer, of the listener. You know what I'm saying? We all know what's going on, and we all know who the man that you're, whose name you don't want to say, because, again, you're, you're a shook one. Um, We all know who you're talking about. You may as well just say the name, dude. Or you gave him the link with my name. If I don't know him, if he's never been to my house before, I can recollect. Which one is it, bro? I've never been there. You can't recollect. Look, why don't you re-recollect before you put some stupid bullshit like this out about me again? Exactly. You can't recollect, right? Oh, but, oh, no, he's never been to my house. Or, or at least I, I, I can't recollect. You see how he contradicts himself? Ryan, you see how you contradict yourself, bruh? In your statements, you sound like these people that you used to roast back in the day. Wow. Just wow. And he's saying he is this middleman between between two friends. I guess I don't know how many times you got to meet someone. Being at your house twice, at the studio with you, at video shoots with you, backstage with you, hanging out at shows with you. I don't, yeah, you call me your homeboy. You fucking said I'm a real one. Like the comment about working it. I'm crazy as fuck for thinking we were friends, huh? Wait, what does Adam Shirt say? Redneck Nation. Redneck Nation. When did I post that? October the 9th, 2018. Oof. Oof. Which was six years ago, smart guy, by the way. I know you know how to do math. I mean, you, you, you can't be that clueless. I'm just saying. I wonder if there was a Creeker Fest in Illinois where I'm from around that time. Oof. 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 
October the 5th and 6th. See two nights with Upchurch and special guests. Let's see, what's it say? Uh, that Champaign County Fairgrounds. Creeker Fest. Oof. Well, what do you fucking know? Probably didn't see you there either, man. I probably didn't walk up on a truck when you and Adam were sitting in it playing my new song, Rap Jesus, that had just dropped like a week before that. That probably didn't happen either, right? Oof. September the 27th, 2018. Mises, Rap Jesus, Rap Devil slash Kill Shot Remix. Official video. Oof. Oof. Who the fuck do you think put him up to doing that? Nobody. Literally nobody put me up to this. Bro, in all seriousness, I think you need fucking help, dude. And I could not agree more. See, that's my dog. Uh, not the one I'm holding. That's my best friend, Sid's. Uh, I mean, the one standing by my side through hell and high water. That's where both of us going to be when all the smoke clears. Um, but let me make one thing crystal fucking clear. Neither one of us would ever ask the other one to fight his fight. Only a coward could even think of such a thing. Uh, let's see. Quote, I ain't saying no names though. End quote. Hashtag F-A-F-O. <laughs> yep. There you got Mises and Adam. You know, two childhood homies. Let's go. Another thing, I don't like pandering. Hey guys, fuck Joe Biden. Buy my album. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, we can't be missing these, these receipts. Let's see, so right up church at St. Mises. Thank you, Mises, so much, man. You're a real one. Keep making them truth banger, cuz. So you're very familiar with Mises and you're very familiar with his music. Hmm. Hmm. So my music is truth bangers when you're fucking with me, but the second I say holler, in a song, all of a sudden, my music becomes pandering. Got it. Oh, and another thing. That song you're talking about is called Dictator. And I wrote it the day Biden mandated the jab, which was July 29th. I had just put an album out July 2nd. If I was trying to capitalize off a song that I knew had viral potential, don't you think I would have dropped that bitch right away? Let's see. But when did I end up dropping that? October 8th, over two months after I wrote it, over three months after I dropped the album, and I didn't drop another album after that for six months, and I didn't even put it on that album. I didn't put it on an album for another two years, bro. So I don't know who the fuck you talking about with that pander and shit, but it ain't me. Out here talking about... Um, I don't think that was directed towards Mises either. I think that was directed towards Tom. You know, so, yeah. My freedom of speech, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. And then you got... Yeah, because he can see how he's going on about the whole, oh, you're talking about freedom of speech, freedom of speech. Yeah, I think that that was directed towards Tom. That, But that's that's just me, though. That's my opinion. These reactors who are way younger than y'all, minding their own fucking business on YouTube. But see, I should have linked it to Mises because the way he, he segued into the, the situation with, um, again, Beast Boy and Kansas Rebel Man and, <clears throat> and, and Mises by minding their own business what he really means to say is lying about other people's business yep and they say oh i don't like i don't like the, the song nah bro they lie big difference and you're and you're getting on their live being like who the fuck said they don't like my song no that's not what happened either bro i just said stop twisting what i said in my song again big difference the dude that don't like the song <laughs> the dude that don't like the song, aka hey, the dude that don't like the song, <laughs> a the guy that twists narratives to try to create controversy. The same guy who's an internet predator who talks to teenage boys on the internet. BX Beast Boy. Not okay. I just I just did a video about that not long ago. You might want to go check that out. They're allowed to not like your shit. There's a lot of people who don't like my shit. I'm, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. He's like, I'm just going to leave that one alone. <laughs> but when you're when you're our age and you're doing some shit like that, man, you look like a fucking immature psycho. You know that? Bruh, do you watch your videos? So what? <laughs> I like that. 
<laughs> you look like an amateur psycho. Bruh, do you watch your videos? <laughs> That's why I said in my video when I reacted to this, says the amateur psycho. Because he, look at him. He was going ape shit in this video. Talking on some on some on some shit that that's not true rather than looking into the whole situation himself. Like I said, oh my God, my guy, my, uh, you, you done set yourself up. You done shot yourself in the foot, bro. Fuck, man. Uh, Upchurch is officially the Cheddar Bob of YouTube. What? They don't like your song. Who gives a fuck? I don't. Fucking realize what an acquaintance is. Y'all just run around throwing daisies out of a basket, calling everybody your fucking best friend. We back on the friend shit again, bro. How many times I gotta fucking prove this? Plus, dog, I never said you were my best friend. That's what your weird cult idol worshiping YouTube following motherfucker said, not me. Actual factuals, man. The the these internet, I or these eye thugs, as I like to call them. <clears throat> you know what I mean? That be hiding behind either fake profile pictures or or blank profile pictures and fake names you know what i mean they'd be running their mouths on on this whole situation again that they have no full knowledge of do you know that that's not normal do you know that you look like a crazy fuck doing that yes I uh do you know that it, it's not normal for you to not look into everything that involves your name do you realize that it's not normal for you to be looking like the crazy fuck that you are making Again, videos where you're speaking on something you have no full knowledge of that you're ignorant to. <laughs> Again, tell me you're not a hypocrite without telling me you're not a hypocrite. I know that's not normal. And yes, I agree. Your fan base that does that, not all your fan base, but your fan base that does that look like a bunch of crazy fucks. This video would not wrong. Would not even have to be made if y'all would mind your own fucking business, pick up some instruments and make some fucking music that people like. Yeah, and this video would have never had to have been made if you just picked up the phone and called me if you had some sort of an issue with something I said on a song, especially... Facts. Facts. There's absolutely no excuse for the buffoonery that you're displaying on the internet. Again, your favorite playground. ...considering how, how much I went out of my way to explain the lyrics and reach you. Ah, oh, look at this. See, these vultures like death because it's the only way they eat. You can you can let lies of bottom feeders gas you up or recognize the truth of a real MC and say that's what's up. But either way, I noticed your comment on BX page that this ain't got shit to do with Adam. Uh, he never even heard the song until I dropped it. Bottom line. I have the heart of the greats and you liked a comment about working then never followed up. So I said, holler boy, you want people to twist that to a diss? Then I don't know what to tell you, homie blessings. Hmm. hmm look at that. He even tried to reach out to you in the DMS. <clears throat> See, Oh, this he, text messages between him and Kalani. See, uh, hit me up when you got time, fam. Will do. Uh, you too. Oh, yo, my bad, bruh. I've been uh, busy as shit and all over the place these last few days. You good, fam? Hey, dog. I need you to give me a, a shout when you, when you got to talk long. But I appreciate it if we talk soon. <clears throat> oh, I got to talk to you about something real about some real shit before uh she gets stupid uh let's see we ain't oh we ain't gotta talk about oh we ain't gotta talk but should talk soon okay i see what he's trying to say here see see okay bet um i'll hit you up in a bit um uh, finally caught a break from the tour uh see y'all been busy congrats again and not to be pressing homie normally um you and i uh, don't sweat, but this important. So yeah, I wasn't expecting to pick up a job on the tour when I went up. I was just going to enjoy the show. See, blessings on blessings. Yo, uh, my bad, y'all. Uh, yo, tell church to call me dog. This shit getting super fucking stupid. Let me see. I'm gonna hit you up in a sec because I don't know even. Oh, I I don't even know what's going on.
Okay. I even commented multiple times in the live that you called in on to contact me personally. Went back to get some receipts for that, but their moderators kept uh, deleting them, I guess. Ooh, but it looks like they missed one, though. See, Church, you want truth? Talk to me personally or listen to this dude make shit up. You missed one, though. Fucking vultures. There's no need for anybody to send another rapper to be like, look, I'm a new secret middleman. No, oh, we are even over this shit. Every time they bring my name in some drama, let me guess, one of y'all got an album coming out or something? Is that what it is? Man, if that ain't the pot calling the kettle black. Four months ago, what I said. Actual factuals right there. Pot calling the kettle black. Case in point, when Church dropped the first Blue Jeans album, who was he having issues with then? His own mother that he aired out. When he dropped Blue Jeans 2, who did he have issues with then? A cow. He's about to drop Creaker 3. Who does he have issues with now? See, it's a bit of a pattern. Every time he drops an album, he's always in the middle of some shit. Yeah, you want to talk about patterns, church? Let's talk about patterns. And you want to talk about, you know, promoting and marketing your stuff? You use drama to promote your stuff. Watch out for some fake beef. Because that's what's coming. Some fake bullshit beef. Well, you were right, because that really wasn't a diss, and this is definitely some bullshit. Here we are, four months later. Well, you know, just get this dude on this podcast. He, he's not no fucking middleman for me. The fuck? This dude ain't never been to my fucking house. Mm, see, the more you say, it doesn't make it any more true. Yep. You can keep uh, feeding yourself the bullshit all you want, man. But yeah, it doesn't make it any more true, dog. Like I said, pictures say a thousand words, don't they? Not that I fucking know of. I know it's probably really hard to see me standing right fucking next to you or sitting on the couch in your living room. I definitely don't know him personally. Hey Siri, how many times you gotta meet someone in person before you know them personally? Yeah. I like how he hit a Siri. <laughs> Let's go. This random rapper dude being like, I know him personally. I've been to his house. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, saying all that truth. Yeah. <sighs> Feel better? Now that you got all that shit off your chest to the whole internet, instead of just picking up a phone and fucking calling me? And to the rapper that I didn't say your name in this video? I'm listening. You're too good of a rapper to be associating with that shit. Associating with what, bro? I made a song about hip hop. I spoke on some things that were on my mind, and fucking because your name gets mentioned, all of a sudden you're calling me some sort of middleman that got sent after you? You better scat, dude. I better scat? Look, Ryan, I like you, dog. I mean, this is some fucking bullshit, but I believe in being able to forgive and forget and move on and look past, and hopefully maybe even you and Adam can, and you and Tom. But let me make this clear, dog. I will fucking disembowel you on the mic, bro. I ain't gotta scat shit, homie. Don't, don't let anybody get you to fucking do something that makes you look stupid when you ain't gotta do it. Why would you do that? I wouldn't do that, and I didn't do that. Go be the good artist that you are. That's what I thought I was doing, bro, in my hip-hop song about hip-hop. Don't fucking hang around with people that ain't good artists that do dumb shit like this. And also, don't be hanging around artists that treat your ass like shit. Right. A statement like that sounds like you personally know who I am. And for the Yeah, see, how would, how would he know about something like that if he doesn't know this man if this man's never been into his house why would church say something that would out him like that wow dog you just made a confession without realizing you made a confession usher gonna be the yeah, new usher you're gonna do a usher remix this is my confession i really know this dude this is my confession <laughs> record i'm good with everybody around me you try to big dog you with and see, I believe that because again, like what Misa said about church being the common denominator in certain issues with certain people. Again, you look at all the people he church used to work with, right? Why doesn't he work with these people anymore? All these artists that were his homies, why aren't they homies with him anymore? What's the one common de de denominator? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. When they're not a big dog at all. Big dog, me like, you've been trying to do this whole video, you mean? With your, like, mm -hmm. Adam boy trying to sun me shit at the end? Listen, yep. dog, I would prefer that we just resolve this shit 
Like, man, everybody would put all the bullshit behind them, break mm -hmm. bread, make some dope music for the fans. That's what I would love to see. But I'm going to tell you right now, homie, you said I don't know you. That's a lie. You said I haven't been to your house. That's a lie. And you said I dissed you. And that's a fucking lie, too. I can't let there be a fake. So this is the video, the IG video, where Church talked about me. Remember the part of the video, if you've seen it, where he says, yeah, you know, just the other day I saw this guy who's all bent out of shape because I don't know this other rapper guy. You know what I mean? And then he posts a picture on the internet tagging both me and this other rapper dude, you know, uh, on on said picture. Yeah, I'm that dude that was supposedly bent out of shape because you don't, because you keep claiming that you don't know Mises. And then I had to show receipts to prove that that is not true. And again, I will play my video where I responded to this motherfucker on IG since he had a, you know, since he couldn't do it on YouTube at least. See, I would I would have respected you more had you posted this video on YouTube instead of having Kansas Rebel Man rat your ass out by um, blasting you on his channel. So yeah, I guess I should uh, thank Kansas Rebel Man, you know what I mean, for outing you, for airing you out so I could respond to you on IG since you since you thought I didn't have an Instagram account story about me neither can I bro all right y'all so let's see what's to say this will be my only response to you uh this video has been done for three days prior to its release I took those days to pray and even gave you one last chance to remove your video yesterday my name is clear uh, my word is clear anyone who still thinks I clout chased or this Ryan after this is in denial and your view of me means nothing including Ryan's let's go and Ryan <clears throat> if you continue to leave videos up with lies in them that says far more about you than it does me God bless you dog a hey, actual factuals y'all and uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and match the like on this one because I definitely definitely agree with this one you know what I'm saying and my man had the receipts to prove it all right y'all let's go ahead and get into my IG response and then we'll close this video out your typical American man is changing everybody's like they're trying to demasculate us no these fucking dudes are demasculating themselves look at them I mean fuck dude I seen a guy yesterday he is bent the fuck out of shape that I don't know this other rapper and he even posted a picture he's like look here's a picture yeah that would be me JJV by the way that you're talking about what, you scared to say my name now? Hmm? You afraid of me now? For you and him a long time ago. It's seven, eight years ago. After a show. Do you think I really am all the way there at a show? No, motherfucker. I'm high on adrenaline for one. Two, do you know how many fucking people I... Sounds like you're making all kinds of excuses, just like a fuckboy. Me at shows, dog? You know how many artists I've met at shows? It don't mean I automatically downloaded everything about them. I know their blood type, their motherfucker, where they was born, uh, their social security number. It don't. What do you? What do you think I am? A supercomputer? Man, to the ones doing. First of all, it was at your house, and if you can't remember who's been at your house, or if you don't know people that you're letting into your house, then it goes to show just how reckless you are by just letting anyone into your house. This kind of shit. Pull your head out of your ass. Pull your head out of your ass. I will pull my head out of my ass just as soon as you pull your head out of yours, my guy. Again, dog, you did change. And unfortunately, it's not for the better. Ass. Golly. How the fuck are we supposed to defend this country if something bad happens? When all these dudes out here running around twisting their nipples, being like, I'm everyone's friend. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, sounds like uh, you won't be there on the front line having people's backs then, since apparently it's weird to have friends. <laughs> people starting to have internet side effects. These motherfuckers like we're truth seekers. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know him. And they're like, how dare you? Okay, so when you have receipts to prove people wrong, that's okay, right? And you're always right, right? But when we have receipts to prove you wrong, oh, we're weirdos. We're emasculating ourselves on the internet by your logic. Got it. Got you, my guy. Hmm. And why did you have to run to Instagram to talk about me without saying my name? 
How dare me tell you the truth? What the fuck do you want me to do? Play for kill? So yeah. No, be real, dude. Be real. Instead of being on this fuck shit. I'm allowed to tell you the truth. If you don't like it, who gives a fuck? Just like I told the truth, and obviously you didn't like the fact that I told the truth. Hence why you're on here all up in your feels, crying about me without saying my name. Damn, bruh. Yeah, you you know, you are like the biggest fall from grace in Ben Shapiro. And you know, some folks might be like, well, oh man, Upchurch is always bitching about something. No, Upchurch is always correcting the narrative that they're trying to... See what I mean? Fucking true narcissist right here. He's always correct. He's always right. Everybody else is always wrong. Haha, <laughs> okay. All right, I see you. They're like, make up yourself in La La Land. I can't let there be a fake story about me. Like, I can't let there be... You can't let there be a fake story about you, but yet you let Beast Boy and Kansas Rebel Man tell you a fake story that you're running with. Gotcha. These fake things that happen to these fake people that I fake know, I'm, I'm obviously going to give you like, no, that's not true because... because it's not the real story. I mean, <laughs> what you want me to say? Yeah, so there you have it, y'all. Again... I don't want to do the internet shit either, hence why if you go through my comment threads on my community postings um, that have anything to do with church in this situation, go read through my, my, my comment thread and you'll see. I still try to be cool with church, even though he came at me sideways, uh, called me names. He tried to call me moron, but instead he called me moon. <laughs> so he was bad. He was big bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, I still try, try to be cool with him. I try to reason with him by saying, hey, look, man. I'm just trying to be that responsible hollow boy that you asked all of us to be. And when I did that, oh, nah, I'm the bad guy? Hmm, okay. I mean, hey, I'm still willing to look past the, the keyboard warrior nonsense, the IG video nonsense, for us to have a grown man's conversation. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know what's the best way to get a hold of you um, and what time works best for you. Because I know he has a tour going on. So, like I said, man. We, we, we can talk. I mean, I'm easy to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to curse you out or call you names, you know, like an internet snowflake. I'm just saying. No, I'm going to have a grown man conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to treat you like a man. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. You don't, you don't have to be afraid of me anymore. And you can say my name now, okay? Because, you know, I don't play that fucking kid shit game, man. I mean, it is what it is, y'all. Anyway. Uh, we'll get into uh, Adam's video next. Um, I, I definitely want to give Adam, you know, I mean, um, his time on, on the platform to say his piece in regards to this whole situation. So, yeah, man, uh, make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Um, till then, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next video. I'm going to give you a little bit of 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 a little